hello everyone welcome back to another vlog as you will see the christmas tree has gone we took that down a few days after new year we always like to take it down like pretty much straight after new year's day um it kind of gets a bit too yeah we're over christmas come new year's eve definitely um adam is here typing away on his christmas present that you would have seen me wrap um he's put it together <laughs> he put it together yesterday and he's just sending an email to our wedding planner in Ibiza um, which I will get on to a little bit later on but we have just done something really exciting we have been to Ren this morning to start our kitchen planning and I'm quite I'm a really visual person and until I see it all put together I kind of can't vision it so whereas it's surprising actually that Adam's Adam can kind of picture it without seeing it kind of thing so he obviously he done all the plans he's I'm more of the, the like fine tuner and I like pick the fabrics or like the knobs whereas like Adam does like he's more of the design he knew like the layout of the kitchen he knows where he wants to put doors and um so he's kind of done all of that and we and then we go over it and fine tune things so um, it was really nice to like see it all come together. So we, we, we popped down to our local Wren. Wren is where we got our kitchen, our blue kitchen in the previous house from. And we had no problems with it whatsoever. We were really happy with it. So this is the kind of idea that we're thinking, potentially something at the end of the island, not this color. I'm gonna go for white. Um, and obviously not this worktop, but style wise, something similar to this. And then we would want um, some kind of dresser in the kitchen. Um, so then they've got this. So we're just here to have a little look around and get a little, they're gonna do a little drawing for us on the computer, a little CAD, what we got done before. And then um, it will give us a better idea of what the kitchen's gonna look like and what we want and things like how many bins we're gonna have dishwasher yeah I like the idea of this actually that's quite nice like the wine under the island well, on the other side oh uh, yeah that's why we didn't have that before isn't it yeah, like yeah that's true yes yeah, so we want to use our island as a breakfast bar so yeah we on one side that's why we last time in the other kitchen we couldn't have anything because this is knocked through so you can get stalls well, on the well, island this yeah this is i like that yeah i think the, as much storage as you can get yeah i like that last that's time we just had it, storage, isn't it? it still been yeah i like that yeah. yeah but then we had our bins didn't we so yeah, have you got anything really there island, so oh yeah so so yeah that so it'll be like an extra one and, and then and we'll have less in it because we wound up the washing machine in it because that'll be out in the utility room oh yeah oh yeah yeah so that helps that. yeah so we're just looking and we want a sink like this probably a bit maybe if we could get one bigger than that this like side. a little bit bigger uh, oh that's quite wide isn't it that's quite de deep like uh, yeah no I don't like the look of that one and then I was saying like these cupboards uh, I don't know because they look so different in different colours. Like I like them in that colour, but when I look at it in that colour, I'm not very keen. And, that, yeah. and then they've obviously got them in the white there, but I don't think they look as good as the previous one. So like they've just got like a slight ridge, and, and a, like country. the other ones look more country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. That's the that's the vibe we're going for. The country country kitchen vibe um so yeah like we really really love the modern kitchen still i've got a really nice marble countertop but obviously that's not the vibe of this house but yeah like this that's the same as what was in there isn't it no in the white and the gray no no maybe not i don't know it's still got i oh know it's got a big lip on it this one and yeah yeah I don't think this is the one either is it I love a stove like this Adam obviously likes the induction hobs but I would really love like a old stove but I do agree 
like when it comes to cleaning like we've got one of these at the moment in the house which was left and cleaning it is an absolute nightmare but i just love the look of a range i love it i think yeah it's such it's so hard but obviously the induction you just wipe it clean and it's just fuss free and they've got the wineland it's really hard to tell so this is the georgian one Obviously, we wouldn't have handles like that as well. I think the handles make a big difference to what you see. It says it on the brochure over there. But I like this kind of deep ridged style and the panels. And I like the drawers. But it is really hard to tell when it's in a different colour and different handles on it. And another thing I like is these kind of um, cabinets with the glass, frosted glass. But like Adam said, a lot of our... Um, a lot of our cupboards are going to be like low down so there won't be any point so that's that one i think this could be a contender oh look at the brickwork around the oven that is so nice i would love that one day where is i can't even think where is our cooker going could we have brick around the cooker no no oh i love that though Love that, and then the range. So this one is their shaker kitchens, and this is what your mum and dad have, isn't it, Adam? Shaker. I can't remember. Yeah, I recognise the name. I'm sure it is. Yeah, these are your mum's yeah. cupboards, definitely. Um, so this is the other option. Um, obviously in white. But it's nice to see it against like marble and black as well. This was the modern kind of island that we both really love. And this is what we kind of had in the old house. It was like a marble island, but um, just marble top rather than full marble island. But it just isn't for the house that we're in at the moment. But maybe one day we'll mix the farm and modern. I don't know. I know Adam really does like modern. But I prefer the kind of farmhouse country feel. Is that right? Two big windows across the top. That's right, yep. Then you've got this window over there. Yep. Round to another door over there. That's okay. right. So when we were doing the design, Adam actually mentioned about the brick around a range. So potentially. Um, but we will be shopping around just to see what other ideas people come up with because that's the best thing working with these kind of specialists they have they sometimes like throw an idea out there and you wouldn't have thought of that yourself um, so we walk, walked around the showroom looked at different kitchens and I liked the Georgian and the country style kitchens and when it comes to the designs we went for a country design I will actually put the photo that they sent us like they send you via email um, the creations that they do. So I'll, in, I'll insert them as I'm talking as well. So as you walk into the kitchen, on the left hand side will be the kitchen area and the right hand side will be our large dining area. So we'll have a really large, like three meter island, I think it's going to be. And then what's the width, what's the whole length of the, ki of the kitchen, Adam? Six and a half, seven meters, just short so seven. So yeah, the whole, the kitchen length will, no, width, is it width? The width of the kitchen is just under seven, did you say? No, okay. The length. Or the depth. The, the depth, that's it, the depth. So what's that? Nearly seven. <laughs> okay, so the depth of the kitchen will be nearly seven. The length of the kitchen is, Adam's gonna get the, the the drawings um so yeah it's it's a big kitchen the guy in realm was like cool do you do you two re realize how big this is gonna be seven, so yeah the so kitchen meters. depth is just under seven meters and yeah, then the kitchen nine meters but that's into the dining area into the dining area is nine meters so like the whole that comes across the back of the house kind of thing and then coming off the kitchen part there'll be a door and that will lead us into our utility and a room which we believe will be an office. I would have preferred a boot room and a utility. However, Adam doesn't think they're two separate things, but I was trying to explain to him a utility is where you do all the washing and 
drying and tumble dryers and all of that goes in the utility and ironing boards and then the boot room is where you'll come after like being at the beach or out on a muddy walk you'll come down the side of the house go into the boot room take your boots off there'll be a little seat in there to take your boots off and you know so you're not like traipsing mud all through the house like rather a we've boot got room might go in this house that i'm looking at here what house this our house this this house <laughs> i'm looking at here which is three million pounds with stables <laughs> and swimming pool what are you looking at three million pound houses that's that's what a boot that's uh, the kind of house that would have a boot room <laughs> Well, that's that's what I thought anyway. When I saw that there was going to be two rooms on the side, I was like, oh, we can have a utility and a boot room. And he was like, no, I want that to be an office, which I think we don't need. I'm sat here but... working on a weight bench, doing my work. <laughs> that's because you chose not to go to the office today. <laughs> so anyway, we've gone in. We So all the designs were picked using the country cupboards um their country kitchen and i really am so impressed with what it looks like but then as we're walking around we saw a range cooker with brickwork all around it and i'll insert that clip as well and i love a range cooker i think they look so i don't know what the word is they just look really homely and like country living i really really love it adam loves an induction hob which we had in the other house and to be fair cleaning a range cooker is an absolute nightmare cleaning an induction hob takes a couple of seconds um we have a like a, not a range but like one of those cookers where you've got to take the tops off and wipe it all down and it is a nightmare to clean but aesthetically i really really love it and when adam saw it he said to the guy he was like actually can you put one of those in as well so our first initial drawing has a one large island we want a kind of butcher block on the end and then um we'll have perhaps if we don't go for the range we'll have an induction hob on that island and then it will be able to seat four stalls along the side of it then we've got the sink over on the the wall looking out into the garden so a nice big deep sink um, we'll go at the window. I kind of envision like me doing the washing up, kids playing out in the garden. Um, so yeah, so that is that goes there, and then so there's no there's only single units along there, and then behind us when you come in the door on the left, there'll be floor to ceiling cabinets, which will include a large fridge and a large freezer on each side, and then two four ovens so two of the microwave combis and then two of the ovens we had that in the other house and people always were like wow four ovens you, like do you enjoy cooking like, obviously adam adam does all the cooking and he made use of them so much especially on a sunday when it was when we would do sunday roasts um and you don't realize how much you actually do make use of them and then leaving them we've realized how much we use them um so we put them in and then next to that so there'll be like a little corner corner unit and then next to that there'll be a dresser now rem put in one of their dresses um which was about three thousand pounds it was quite expensive it was just under three thousand um so i'm actually going to look because what i had in my mind and i'll insert a little photo to give you an, an idea i want a french antique dresser there preferably with like glass doors or something and then a uh, shelf and then cupboards underneath but something that's aged it's not new it's not modern um white and just like that kind of yeah just french antique um thing and i think we can get that for three thousand pounds it's just got to fit in the size yeah but it will no but that's what I, the photos i showed you it might it they don't it doesn't i'd rather try and get something made no because it no it doesn't wood. need to fit it's in because work. it's a dresser let me show you the photos of the house and they've got cupboards next to it which are high and then their dresses there and it just it doesn't it just looks nice like it's not meant to fit in it's not meant to be built in or integrated it's meant to be I, I know you like everything integrated but it will look honestly let me show you the photo it just looks really really nice and I feel like it's such a talking point in a kitchen as well and sorry I'm just making sure blue's still out there um yeah 
so that'll be really really nice and then we've got to also come to the decision of you know knobs on the, the doors taps i don't know if we're gonna get a tap that is aesthetically right that's a boiling tap um looking at the ones that they were showing us but that's something we've got to look into floor i think we want a stone floor don't we adam i think no, I think a stone floor. Um, but then the floor will obviously run into the dining area as well. Um, what else? So that was pretty much everything. It was just so good to see it all come together and have like a price idea of price as well. Um, but we are going to go and speak. One of Adam's friends actually does bespoke kitchen, so we're gonna we're booked in to see him next week, and it'll be interesting to see what ideas he comes up with. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm really excited. I'm just. Like, so work is hopefully gonna start in February. So we're in January, February next month, and then we're due to get married in May. So it's gonna be crazy over here. Like, I'm gonna be documenting it all, and I really wanna do it so much more than last time, because so many of you obviously are here for the house renovations, so that's what I'm gonna be really showing you. Um, yeah, that was everything, wasn't it, Adam? So kids are at nursery and I'm going to go pick them up. We Pollyanna actually has a campaign to shoot for River Island. Um, so I'm gonna, we're gonna go down to like the ice cream parlor, try and get like photos of her with the ice cream. Blue wants to come in. Um, and yeah, so that's it. And I've also got a new project that I wanted to start this week but I don't think I can get the fabric because the haberdashery shot. There must be another haberdashery near. Maybe we can go Whitstable or something tomorrow. <laughs> and go antique shopping. Adam hates antique shopping. We walk into like an antique shop and he's like, oh my God. And I could like spend hours just looking around all the little trinkets. So let me show you what my next project is. You may have already seen this if you follow me on Home Side of Style. But this, Chalange I found on Facebook Marketplace. I know it looks disgusting, but you have to look past it. Okay, this is all going to be taken off. This is all original and it's got horse hair in it as well. And it's just beautiful. So I found this for free on Facebook Marketplace. A Chalange has been on my list of putting in here forever. Um, from the moment we moved in here, I was like, I want to, I really would like a Chalange in the house. Um, so I'm going to cover this in Calco fabric um, and yeah, try and I want to leave some of it like open and distorted. Again, I'll insert a photo to give you an idea. So I've been looking at some courses online to teach me how to like up re reupholster stuff, but it isn't going to look perfect. It's going to be like this, like war, like deconstructed kind of thing. And the lady who actually done one of these and then put it on her shop, sold it for £1,600. Like, can you believe that? But it is so lovely and it's so springy and so comfortable. It's gonna look really, really good. Um, comes with the wheels, so it's on wheels. And then I'm gonna keep the legs as they are. Um, so yeah, it just looks really nice. Sofa wise, I don't think we're gonna be bringing that sofa back in here. Um, I. I just prefer it out of this room. So we're gonna put it in the garage for now. And then this horse is gonna go and be moved into the playroom, but I need to have a tidy up in the garage because if you saw last, last week's vlog, me working out in the garage, it was very, very full. And then we've got some of these Christmas bits here, which I think, I don't know why they're here. They actually need to go back into the garage. Um, so yeah, and then I, I don't know what else to put here. Maybe like a bench or something there maybe a side table this table's now too big um that that's not going there that's going in the garage adam isn't it <laughs> are you joking with me this is this is this has been here for 24 hours which is long enough um oh, but so i know i will clear the stuff out and then we have a fire. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you it later when it's all lit and looking lovely. But the win win window sweeper, the chimney sweeper came uh, yesterday or the day before. And then we went. Adam went and picked some bits up so we could have a real fire. We lit it last night, but it doesn't last long, guys. Um, 
So yeah, we've got lots of vlogs and stuff. So I'll light it tonight and show you it because we need it. Say that again. Baby tractor. They've got a baby tractor at school. <laughs> and what else did you play with? <gasps> Did you paint? Yay! <laughs> what else did you do? I turned it down to dust! No, no, no! You okay, Alfie? <laughs> Is that good, Alfie? Yeah! Put your feet on it, Alfie. Good boy. Put your feet on, don't kick, Alfie. Alfie, don't kick. Just hold on, hold on like Pollyanna is. Whoa, 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 hold on, I've got you. Baby, I've got you. No. I've got you, no, no, no. Alfie, I've got you. <laughs> so we've done our photos for River Island. I'll insert them on the screen. Pollyanna's outfit is River Island, her tutu, not her coat, but, um, what's underneath is, and we just done it along the pier with the sun in the background. So the ice cream shop that we were going to is shut. So I'm saying to Pollyanna, we can walk across the sand, go up those steps there and go to the blue building. Would you like to do that? I don't think I can do it. I think I can do it. You think you can do it? Alfie, do you think I you can do it? I can this boy thinks he can do anything as well as go down steps on his scooter. Right, Wait a minute. Carry it down the steps. I can do okay. it. You don't think you can or you think you can? can? You can? Good. I'll carry your scooter. Let's do it. Oh, do you want me to hide it? I'm not going to hide them all now. We can do it. I'm so slow. <laughs> he is slow. Slow and steady wins the. <laughs> the way, the race. <laughs> no, that's the wellie. The wellie? Yeah. The wellie, not 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 what what Daddy was thinking. Oh, you? <laughs> oh, I thought you thought <coughs> she said something else. I I I, I can I turn it on my like now. Um, no, because it's on sand. We've got to get onto the decking. We're traipsing through the sand. We need to get Daddy a pair of wellies. Isn't it amazing, like no matter how cold it is, they will still play in the sand with freezing hands. And she just said that. Oh, is that why? Ah, oh, it's cold though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on then. Blue boy's off his lead. Oh, he loves it. Oh, look, they built it. They built up the sand so we can roll down it. <laughs> Come on, Alfie. They built up the sand. We can roll down. We haven't got our wetsuits on today, though, to roll down. So there was a lady that has just been in the sea, and she's just got out. And I was just saying to Adam, I admire people who go in the sea all year round. I done it. We done it New Year's Day. Adam ended up doing it with me, but just what a determination like a determinated thing to get up and do it every single day i'd love to do it but oh no Mommy. show everyone how you shake it off and shake it off and shake it off <laughs> go 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 Who's so quick now? Me. You, yes. So is your sister. I want a Mr. Whippy. You'd like a Mr. Whippy with a flake? <laughs> so we've just got our ice creams. It's been a bit manic, but we got it. Blue's got his one as well. Mummy's got one. Is that nice? Daddy's just for oh, is that what you're waiting for? No! <laughs> no! Is it cold? That's okay, just swallow it. He hates cold things. Oh. 
Is that nice blue? <laughs> Mummy always ends up with Alfie's, don't I? Why? Because he doesn't actually like... He likes a cone, but... He can't eat a cone yet, can he? Did he actually ate a cone? He did. Daddy helped him. <laughs> so here is our fire. And I love the sound of it and the crackle, like when the TV's off and you can just hear it like crackling. And, but this hasn't actually got wood on it at the moment. We've got one of those like eco logs and we have some dried logs here. But um, yeah, when we had the log, oh you can hear it. This does still crackle actually. I didn't think it did. Um, so yeah, I really love it. It really warms up the space. And um, I just need to get my candles to go around here now. I've been sat in front of the fire and I've gone really, really red. Um, but it's so nice to have this. Adam, we're back from ice cream and Alfie was so tired. He was just having meltdown. So we put him for a little nap at three. No, what time did we get back? Half three. So now it's nearly five. Adam's been on the Peloton. I think I'm gonna pop out and go and do mine. I'm doing like a challenge. One of the instructors has done like a, um, a work, an hour workout, 50 minute workout, four times a week. And it includes like strength, cycling, and then stretching as well. I don't normally do any of that. I normally just do the bike, but I've been doing these um, like lift, like one was for your arms, one's for your glutes. The other one today is like for your core. So yeah, it's been good. It makes me feel good doing it and I've been keeping it up. And on top of that, I've also been doing yoga as well. So um, I feel like I've been doing lots, which is good. So I'm gonna get out on that. And then we've got Toad in the Hole for dinner this evening. So there, I've done it. You probably would have seen on the time lapse if I insert it, like the kids climbing all over me, sticking stickers on me. Um, so I done a 30 minute hit and hill ride, which was the hardest thing I've done on that bike. Normally I only do like the bike, the cycles to music and things, and they're quite like, they're tough, but they're not like climbing up hills tough. And um, that, that's what I've done today. And then I've done a 10 minute core workout, which again, I have not worked on my core since I went boxing. And you'll probably see like me only be able to lift up my legs like twice. That was really tough as well. So I think I'm gonna save that one and do that one a few times a week because I really felt that. It was only 10 minutes. I know the kids have been sticking stickers on me. And then a 10 minute cool down. So all in all, it's like 50 minutes, um, four times a week. And then they have like different challenges every month, but it just gives you something to like focus on. So now I'm just gonna eat my toad in the hull. So you know, it's all about balance, isn't it? This is one of my favorite dinners from Adam because he makes the best Yorkshire puddings ever. And Alfie is obsessed with sausages. Oh, Gina, you I two. And another I one. Go on. Go on then, and another uh, one. I don't know. Reindeer son. Um. New world, red nose reindeer. Hi. And I even paint their nose. Oh, wow. I even paint my nose. Oh. Mummy, mummy. New world, red nose reindeer. Had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you better say it loud. Mummy, mummy. I said this. Mommy, um, mommy, I did not be reindeers at ballet. Do it, do it, do it, do it. All that I've ever seen Yeah. You can so love and call cool. him names. And if you ever saw it, you'll be able to say it loud. <laughs> All that I've ever seen this. You can love and call him names. And if you ever saw it, you'll be able to say it loud. I'll 
singing from Pollyanna ever. She never wants to sing to us, does she? No. Like she always says, no. Christmas time. I know. They're a few weeks late, but they were beautiful. I, I love them. Love new one. You do? For new one. And what was the thunder one? Uh, the thunder will go away or something. What was that uh, one? The, the pirate who left the pirate you know a pirate song? Yeah. You need to teach Alfie that one. Um, I don't know. Hello everyone, picking back up this vlog on a Friday. So it's been a few days since I last vlogged, but I'm gonna include it. I'm gonna include it all in this one today. Um, I've got a few things to show you and a kitchen update as well. So I spoke about it last week with you. We went to see Rem. And then earlier on this week, we went to see a local company called Corrie Paul Kitchens. And, and he is somebody that specializes in bespoke kitchens. So we went to see him and his company has just got bigger over the last few years since we last went to see him. So they're gonna be um, creating a few different options for our new kitchen. So obviously I mentioned that Adam then saw the brickwork and then he's kind of, so he wants one design with the modern like integrated hob and then he wants another design with a range. So two completely different ideas. But we have to think like long term, sorry Blue's like making lots of noise. We have to think long term, what do we really want? We can't keep thinking like, oh, when it comes to selling, because we could be in this house for five years. I know we said that about the other house. <laughs> um, I personally love this house so much. I could stay here for a lot longer, especially when the kitchen and the other bedrooms are done. But I know what me and Adam are like, and I know that when it comes to it, I reckon three years. I don't know why, but that is just what I feel. I feel like um, if it, if the good if a good price comes up or something comes up, we will move again. Um, but I don't know because the the other half of me really loves this house, and I could just stay here for a, so many more years. It's close to Pollyanna School and Alfie's now um, nursery and hopefully school. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So yeah, we've had a few different designs and I'll insert them as well. Um, there are a few changes that we'd like to make um, and we've decided that we're gonna go for stone flooring and things like that. So we're, we're getting there, but I just feel a huge like overwhelm, sense of overwhelming, like trying to plan, at the moment I'm trying to plan Pollyanna's fourth birthday. I'm trying to plan our wedding, which is the end of May. I'm trying to plan the house renovation, all the finer details, taps, flooring, where things are gonna go, what appliances do we are we gonna have? It just feels like so much at the moment. And I just have to keep thinking, like break it all down into little chunks. Pollyanna's birthday will be over soon, then I can focus on other things. But it's just, yeah, very overwhelming. We are going, going to have to move out as well. Um, so that is like a huge, like, scary but like anxious part for me. That's I feel like that's when these projects affect my mental health in a way because I like to, I'm a homebody. I like to be at home. I like things where they are like, and then when I'm unsettled, I struggle. So I just have to keep remem reminding myself that it won't be for long and it'll all be okay. Um, but we're literally gonna have to move all of our furniture out. So we have to take out the chimney breasts in our room and Alfie's room and Pollyanna's room, which is above this one here in the living room. So that's gonna be a really messy job. So all our furniture has to come out of pretty much every room apart from Pollyanna's. Um, so yeah. It's been full on this week, hence why I haven't picked up the camera. And then on top of that, I've been filming so much content for TikTok and Reels, and it has just been very, very full on. So, kids are at school this afternoon. Pollyanna has taken her party invites in. 
I'll insert a little photo of what they look like. She's gone for a Paw Patrol theme. I really wanted like Prince Disney princesses, but she wanted Paw Patrol, so she got Paw Patrol. Um, but I'm gonna make it as girly as I can. Um, so she's gone in very happy with those invites today. And then it's also Blue's birthday today, so I wanna make him a cake at some point. Adam is away in London for the day, networking, like a, a work networking event. So it's just me um, and I'm going to meet up with my sister later on in the afternoon but before that I've got some bits to show you. I've been sent um, quite a few PR boxes, the items that I've picked so I know that you're going to like to see them and then I've got content to film. It's a really sunny day, the past three days have been beautiful so I'm really trying to make the most of this nice sunshine because that is when my TikToks and Reels look better. I hate using a ring light, I really like to use natural light. Um, so yeah, I have been doing daily outfit of the days on TikTok but then I done a poll on Instagram and 98% of you said that you wanted them on Instagram. So I'm gonna be doing both because um, TikTok is a whole nother audience so I will be putting them on TikTok and on Instagram Reels so yeah it's just so much work to do we also went out this morning with Adam before I took him to the train station and shot an outfit of the day and um, trying to get back into the swing of that because over Christmas we stopped we normally do like one or two days oh it's going to cut off so I'm just filming a Zara haul um, for TikTok and Reels, so they're quite quick. Um, and then I'm putting together some outfit of the days at the same time. So this one is a Zara piece. It's like a ribbed knit dress, and it is so stunning, so sophisticated. I wore it with black knee boots. Maybe I'll insert like a clip of the TikTok Reel here, so you can see how I'd style it. But it's so beautiful. I'll link to this down below for you and everything else that I show you. Look at the mess over here crazy crazy I just I can't focus on it because I need to get this done so um, this also I'm hoping to get some fabric today the haberdashery shop has been closed until I think it was yesterday it reopened um, so that will hopefully I'll cover that next week hopefully um, so yeah I'm gonna crack on and try and film a few more outfit of the days with some of these Zara pieces that I've ordered and I'll show you what I can as well Next up we have this amazing yellow knitted jumper. It's so thick. It could probably be worn as a dress as well, I think. Um, I sized up once, I think I got a medium, um, but it's just so stunning. I paired it with these jeans. I've got quite a lot of jeans I ordered on Zara because they were all on sale um, and they fit really well. I think I sized up, but they're a bit tight, but they've got a bit of stretch in them and I think over the wears they'll get looser so I'm definitely keeping these and then I've just got these like these are kind of, these are meant for outdoors but they're um they're like Sherling dad sandals and they're from public desire I'll link to them I've not actually worn them yet they're quite dusty <laughs> they've been up in my cupboard but um I thought they looked quite nice with the yellow knit and that coat whole kind of like cozy vibes so uh, I put this together for a reel I'm just going to try on the rest of the jeans. There are about five or six pairs. There's a few, I really wanted, wanted a pair of white denim which fit me nice and I feel like this is them. They sit really well as well considering I'm five foot. I feel like Zara jeans, I really like the way that the length that they are on me. Um, yeah, really like them. I think some of the jean, the trousers, the leather trousers are going to be too long though. But these are perfect, I love them. These ones I believe are the same as the white ones I had on a minute ago, but these are more of a like a creamy uh, crew colour. Got them in a size 10, I think, yeah, 36 is a 10 I believe. Um, and again, like they feel tight to get on and like the zip looks like it's stretching a teeny bit, but I think if I was to size up, they would be too baggy and I think these just fit so beautiful. These ones were £12.99 so I'm definitely keeping these. Again, I like the length on me. Obviously if you're taller they'll come up a little bit a little bit shorter but um, I think these go really nicely with slides, dad sandals in the summer, um, like clogs, converse, boots, 
pretty much anything. Um, I wouldn't wear them with trainers though, but apart from that, anything else they go really well with. Um, I've just paired it with a white tee for now, just like to keep it simple to, to see if I like them. And I think it's good to have a white option and this option, I do think this colour I would wear more than the white. I think white is quite a hard colour to wear during winter, but when it gets to summer, I do really, really love white. So I'm probably going to keep the white ones and these ones. Um, like, as I said, the Zara jeans, a pair of Zara jeans that I got last year, the trumpet denim jean, they were in my top 10 items of 2021. And I just got so much wear out of them. They wash really well. These are really flattering as well on your bottom. Like, really flattering. I love that. I love the colour of these. So, I know I'll get so much wear out of these. So, £12.99. Definitely worth having a look in the Zara sale if you haven't. I was quite late to the game as well. But there's still so much left. Okay, so, I am now finished doing the Zara haul and a few outfits with those outfits fits items and I'm now gonna do a public desire one because public desire have sent me some pieces um, but I've also got some bits that they sent me a few weeks ago which is still available on the site so I'm gonna feature them in it as well um, first up oh, some cozy slippers because you lot seem to love my like cozy stay at home outfits, even though we're not in lockdown anymore. Oh, it's a bit bright, let me change that. Yeah, you lot seem to really, really love those kind of outfits. So I got these and I also brought a pair on Amazon, which were 20 pound, I think these were less than 20 pound. Um, and I just wanna compare them and see whether to keep the Amazon ones or not, because they look very, very similar. So we will see. Because as you all know, my Uggs are RIP. They're gone, they're like ruined. But I still keep wearing them. I am that person. Then, so much rubbish to recycle. And then an exciting item that I saw on their website. You lot know I love my cowboy boots. I wore them so much last summer in Ibiza, not in Ibiza. And I just feel like they really edge up an outfit so simply um so i worked with ravel last year and they sent me a pair of cowboy boots but i continue i continuously wore them throughout the summer um and then they were a bit pricier so they were like over a hundred pound but then i saw these on public desire they are a completely different length look at those and i can't remember they were half price at the moment I think they're between 40 and 50 pounds, maybe even less because they're on sale at the moment, but they're a really nice length. So I have, I'll now have this option, but then I'll have the Ravel ones, which have a little bit more detail. So they've got like stitching on the front, etc. But I feel like this is a good length as well to have in my wardrobe for summer. And also this length is great for spring with dresses, like little mini dresses anyway. Um, so yeah, love those. I will link to everything down below for you. And then a few of the other items that I'm gonna show in the haul. So yeah, that's those. Love, love, love. Um, these boots, which everyone laughs when they see these in the house. Um, I haven't worn them yet, but I would wear these with, on a night out, not in the daytime. I'd wear these only on a night out. Um, because they are quite green, but I would wear them with like a t-shirt, a black t-shirt dress, a black jumper dress, a little black dress, anything black, <laughs> but they would have looked really, really nice. And I think a black outfit on a night out can look a bit simple and a bit boring. And green is the color of, you know, the season. So, ha ha ha. And then also these, oh, these little heels pointy heels they're gold but they've got the chain that goes around your ankle um yeah and gold little gold heels i thought they were quite cute but i don't know how much wear i'd get out of those ones so yeah i'm just gonna film that reel and then i need to do i've only done two outfit of two outfits so i'd like to do a few more just because it's sunny and it's given out for rain the rest of the week um 
so yeah hopefully i'll get a few more done before going to pick up the kids okay so i finished filming i had about half an hour to spare so i've just got my last vlog of last year up and it was christmas day and boxing day um just about to go and do the school run and i'm wearing this jumper which is from new look it's a cropped jumper i sized up to a medium but I could even have sized up two sizes because just to make it that little bit longer and less less cropped. Um, but yeah, it's ni nice and loose and it's a really nice fabric actually. It's really, really soft. It's a brown. I don't know if that's coming up on the camera, but it's a brown and cream stripe, which I thought was very nice. I love brown with um, blue denim as well. And then I've got the new Zara jeans on and I've paired it with Converse. And then my I'll wear my camel coat and these glasses, which were super cheap and affordable from smart buy sunglasses um this is one of their own range ones and i think they were like 10 pound or something like that um so i will link to everything below for you i've left out some ingredients for blue's birthday cake so when the kids get back we're going to make blue a birthday cake and then i'm going to meet my sister pop to nando's and then go to my other sisters because it's my niece's it was my niece's birthday so we're going to have some cake and bits there. So a bit of a busy day, but I feel like I can relax for the afternoon because I got so much filmed and done. So I feel really productive. I just need to tidy up this mess, but I can do that later. So this is the full look with the coat. I just think it makes it look quite smart and I love how it cuts off there and the jeans cut off just a little bit lower. Um, and then these sunglasses, because they're brown, it just, I think it really balances it all out quite nicely so off to do the school run i say school run it's a nursery run um and then yeah back to bake a cake for the dog i like rich and eggs wow so yeah we're just making blue's cake it's a peanut butter dog recipe one uh we made it for him last year and he really liked it so we're just gonna make it again this year <laughs> sorry everybody Happy birthday to you. Ha not yet. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Blue. Happy birthday to before we came out and then he'll have another slice at dinner time but he really he was like as he come inside like it was baking and it's like he knew he knew the whole situation and what was going on we've just come to nando's now with my sister rachel and kids are here i bought the ipad today hang on hang on what are we doing don't touch um, I'm i think he wanted paw patrol so yeah i brought the ipad today because i just I need a break. It was like baking at home for Blue and then trying to get them ready, trying to get out of the house. I just, I'd like a nice meal with my sister where I can talk and not like deal with them stressing and fighting. So the iPad is here. It will go away when the food comes out. You know, we've got to take the little wins. 